In this video, I will attempt to break my Blitz Ball home run record and will show you all of my wiffle ball bats. These were the original three bats. The pencil bat is the most used out of these, then following up with the Cat X bat and then the WSW home run derby bat, which I have barely used at all. The custom Voodoo 1 2024 St. Patrick's bat and the Goods bat were the next three to be made. The Voodoo 1 bat on the left side of your screen was the first to be customized out of these three. It is fully customized with its own colors and hits lots of home runs. In the middle of your screen is a St. Patrick's Day bat. I thought it would be cool to make a bat for a holiday that was nice and chill. And finally, for this batch of bats is the Goods bat. It is all like the Voodoo 1 except only has one layer of tape. It is also fully customized just like the Voodoo 1. For the final two regulation Wiffle bats, we have the WSW Special Series bat and the WSW Birthday bat. The WSW bat on the left side of your screen is used only for special series. This bat only has one layer of tape, but still finds ways to hit absolute tanks. And finally, to end off for the regular Wolf Ball bats, is the birthday bat. This bat was specifically used for my birthday. It has four layers of tape, except on the handle. The final three bats I show might as well be the ones that hit the ball the furthest. The black Eastern bat on the left side of your screen is capable of hitting the ball beyond 200 feet. It has black handle tape to make it feel like an actual baseball bat, and it could be the bat that helps me break the record. The Louisville Slugger Wiffle Bat in the middle of your screen is just like the Easton Bat. Instead of black handle tape, it has white handle tape. It has a much different sound off the bat and can definitely do the job in my challenge. The final and most recent bat is the WSW Red Cran Bat. This bat was a black Easton bat, except taped all red with black lettering on it. This bat is much more capable of beating my record in this challenge. Now, let's go break my record. I started off by hitting a lot of balls between 100 feet and 150 feet. I was falling short for quite a while before I hit this ball. That blue line indicates 180 feet, and as you can see, it fell just short. I was feeling pretty discouraged for a while, and then this happened. That white line on the sideline indicates 200 feet, and it hit that yellow and blue line, so it is a 210 foot home run, breaking my record. If you don't believe me, here's an above Google Maps view of it going 210 feet. And once again, thank you for 700 subscribers.